Welcome back everybody, back with some more Star Sector, and I am currently in the middle of the Core Worlds, flying around, back with some derelict Empire, you know, doing a thing. So I did find the Perseon League, they are, uh, here, on the Ally system. Uh, we're gonna go to this middle system here, and hope that uh, one of these guys has some lovely tugs. I need two. Two more tugs is what we're looking for. So that's what I'm going to hope we find, and while we're on this lovely adventure, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you want to support the channel further, you know what to do, go to the description, there is a referral link for freecash.com, and there you can do free surveys, earn free cash, that all helps me, helps the channel, everything is lovely. All right. Uh, this needs to move there. Uh, yeah, yeah, gas. You got any gas? Yeah, got any gas? We'll buy that. We'll buy that. Just to keep us full up our gas and. Do I buy these? I think I do. Minimal. Yeah, well. It's always something. Whoa. Look at these things. These are freighters. Super cool looking. Mmm. Wow. There's a destroyer. I don't know what a Polar Polaris stabilizer is, but I do know what a tug is. So we're going to buy that. Go to refit. Turn the tug into an efficiency machine. There you go. So that speeds us up a little bit, and wow, cool. So Polaris is neat. Um, we'll hit up these guys. I don't know if they're actually going to let us sell, though, here. It's like a maybe. Big old fat maybe. Roarins have a faction bounty. Uh, maybe, maybe. We're minus 10 with these guys. Looking good. Okay, that's good. Well, they have a military as well. MLRM launcher. Great. These guys have some of the cool guns. Some of these guns are on our deserter ship. So that's pretty cool. Mm, we're full on gas. Wow, we're just like... Fine, I'll buy some more of these. Yeah, we're burning so much per day. Alright, go to fleet, go to buy, hope for a tug. No tug. Goalkeeper defense pit wing. Mm, model block, civilian grade. I was hoping maybe one of these ships would have tug capability on it, but it doesn't. Uh, sometimes they do. There is a ship that is that has the the tug on it. I can't remember what it's called. It's not this thing. This thing's good though. Explorer. It's got surveying and high-res sensors. That's pretty de pretty decent. You got survey equipment. No, you don't have what we need. So we'll go to the next one. The Iron Shell definitely won't. I think we're at war with them, so... No, we're not. They're neutral with the Iron Shell, currently. Go to fleet. Show me tug. What about you? Targeting optics. Tactical frigate. Nope. Uh, what are you? Nope. Carrier, gun destroyer, armed transport. That's odd. Come on. <gasps> Another one of these cataphracts. Ooh. We have three of them, though. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is a bust. Iron Shell's definitely not going to let us in. They're neutral, but like red neutral. So they won't let us into their planet to buy anything, unfortunately. We'll just have to move to the next place, which will be... Zon Empire? You know what? We could check out this fruit to Prism. I've never been there before. So we'll just have to see what it looks like. I've heard you could buy ships there. What are you? Salvage Expedition A. Oh, we just got to a fight. 
That's always something. We'll just pop in here. We made 2,000 bucks. Great. Go to the Prism Freeport. What do you have? Just a bunch of guns and stuff. High end seller. Oh, ooh. You have some interesting weapons. Oh, there's these sab emitters here. What kind of launchers are these things? Trip interdictor. Interesting. Okay, you sell the rare weapons from everybody. Well, this is an interesting turn of events. Celestial Blossom. It's a missile launcher. Effective range, 1200 SU. Its range is only 700, though. Okay. It's a spike driver. Does extra kinetic damage on hit. It's amazing. I don't even know what this is. It's a missile launcher. Lotus charge battery. What is this? It, uh, it's a pressure weapon, 500 damage, shoots really fast, uses a ton of flux. It's a large launcher of Lotus charge. Okay, Lotus are those big, giant things. They're, they're like these large canisters that shoot. It's a Numistellar Federation gun. That does a lot of damage too. I bet you this thing, to, oh my goodness, 850 damage. Wow. Five second shot railgun. Okay. This beam does 2400 damage at a thousand range. This is insane. Direct interactions with target matter cause explosions that do extra fragmentation damage. Every six seconds. Oh my. Hold on, I need to go fleet. Oh, bye. Oh, a mining rig. How convenient. Give me a tug. High end seller. Oh, what? What? I don't even know what this is. Four fighter bays. Some giant guns. What is this thing? I don't know. I don't know what some of these ships are. <laughs> they sound great. Uh, that's a bomber, a hop skip bomber. Okay. There's none of these cataphracts. Wow. 1.8 mil. These things are super expensive. My goodness. Okay, well, this is kind of neat. Hey, a support. It's a Reuter fighter. Interesting. Uh, none of these things have the augmented field drive that I need, though, unfortunately. I bet you that thing's awesome. It's got ground support. Ooh. Ground support's good. I am interested in this siege carrier. Uh, fighters have great assets. What is this? Mobile Sea Wiz deploys four combat drones. Anti-fighters, okay. Um, sadly, the carriers themselves often lack proper weapons to support them without any deployed ships. The Keto class siege carrier was developed. Large missile, four medium hybrids, four fighter bays, custom external flight decks, and then a custom gun barrel. It has a giant gun on it, which I think is an astropoise. Modular sections. I don't know what that means. They're cool. Pretty cool. Alright, well. Fortunately, this place is a bust. So if we go to refit. And we have a look here. I probably can get... Oh yeah, I did uh, mess about with the ship a bit. And found that this gun is amazing. So I want to put it everywhere. <laughs> if we can get more of them. Which we can buy stuff. Um, Molnir Cannon, 500 Flux is great. 
but even this thing is probably better. Maybe, maybe. This is a debuff gun, which is pretty cool. Um, Peacemaker just does a bunch of damage. Here's a spike driver, shoots four. Does extra connect damage. Oh, this Peacemaker has limited ammo. That's not great. How much damage do you do? 533 a second. You do a lot less per second because you shoot pretty fast, right? Yeah, 0.75. And every shot is 400 damage and 200 EMP. That's really good. But then I can put on this beam. Fusion Bomb Barrage. Oh, man. It's 31,000 credits. But it does 2,400 damage every 6 seconds. Unfortunately, no flux damage. So where would you get your flux damage from? These cannons would help. This cannon would help. Okay, and then these? Maybe would help? Probably not. These anti-shields would be much better, I think. Although these are 800 damage. If they hit. They do very little damage to shields, though. So what if I drop those for these? Ooh. Hello. 1,000 range anti-shield. Every two seconds they shoot. This is 100 damage a second. So that's 200 to shields, which is pretty darn good. This is... 95 damage per second. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think those Void Machina weapons are the ones. Yeah, I think... I think these are the guys. And then the Howler Cannon, I think, is okay. It's here. It doesn't actually do a lot of damage. I guess it does do some extra damage. But you can put something big on it. Hmm. Emitters. Heavy Pulsar Cannon? No, no, no. These guns are so cool. Yeah, so what if I put one of these on it, instead of that? This is 350 flux. This is 45 flux. What's flux per second? 225? 175. So this will shoot just a lot of anti-shield. These will do a lot of anti-shield, so that's just all anti-shield weapons. And then replace this with some giant laser that I want to try. I just want to try it. <laughs> this is 2400 damage. Where is it? Here. How much flux? 600 per second. Doesn't even feel like it's a lot. Um, we, <laughs> we have unlimited flux. Ultra shock beam. All right, we're gonna run some simulation and check this thing out. Uh, here, fight this guy. He's got tons of armor, so go. Go, go, go. I don't know what it's doing. All right, so we're shooting guns like crazy. The big laser hasn't fired yet. Oh, it's firing now. Not a very satisfying explosion. 
Oh my. Yeah, we're just keeping his shields down because he can't. Laser doesn't make the most satisfying sound. All this green stuff firing everywhere. It's PD. Our PD is not very good. Okay. These PDs are not very good. Okay, so if you're going to do 300 or 1300 here, we can lower this quite a bit. Wow, well, I'll just, I'll leave it at 20. Which will give us the ability, if I could put like a flat cannon on the back of this thing, that would be really good. The paladin would be really good. The meter's not good because it doesn't shoot fast enough. Something with very fast movement. So something like this would... Oh, heavy point defense would work. This thing moves fast. There's lots of damage to shields. Some damage to armor. Shoots like crazy. Um... A direct laser would be better instead of a cannon. Like a hull beam. <laughs> yeah, that'd probably rip all kinds of stuff. Uses too much uses too much everything. And I don't want the ship to turn a lot, so probably you don't shoot fast enough. Probably the heavy machine gun. And then these things gotta be replaced with much better point defense. Like I can put these on there because they just don't do much damage. I saw them shooting like crazy. Oh, there's no more. There's one more. What are you talking about? There you go. That should be better. And now we're a little bit over 20. Yeah, we're still. There we go. So now you can shoot forever every gun. And it should be able to deal with fighters. Much better anyway. So its fighters go out. Run it fighters. Oh, the big laser shoots. All the big guns shoot. Probably should use your ability. Oh my goodness, it's almost dead already. Uh, yes, these guns are much better. It's a Gladys, so they're heavy fighters. Machine guns are doing its thing. Yeah, this is a lot better. Wow, it's still all messed up. Okay. I think we upgraded the ship to be pretty darn good. Um, now for this guy, I think these lasers are going to be helpful. I don't believe we have another one of these multi-purpose cannons available. What's it even called? Can she? Only have this one. Uh, what can we buy though? Could put an ultra shock beam on it compared to the Gluon Lance. Oh, that does so much more damage, though. Than the Ultra Shock Beam. 2400 damage, 800 EMP, or 2800 damage? Every 5 seconds? It's perfect and slow. It's perfect and very slow. I guess the problem with it is it has charges. This one doesn't. 
This one does extra fragmentation damage and EMP. 600 EMP a second. It's the same thousand range. It's a powerful strike weapon. And then these are also powerful strike weapons. Ooh, this ship is gnarly. Oh, we can also put a um, different missile. Guided point defense. Fusion bomb launcher, maybe, would be better. I don't know, this is pretty darn good. 1200 range, tons of damage because they're, ha they're hammers. High intensity laser would be nice. Could do something here. Uh, you're just a big fat anti whatever weapon. This would not be good. This would be a debuff cannon. Tunnel railgun would probably probably be pretty nice. This shoots very far. Mm. No, I think this thing's gonna be fine. Anti armor weapon. And for you, we use this, but we could use something else. Probably anything. There's no turn rate required. This also this has longer range. So it does more damage. 480 and a little bit EMP, 219. Okay, well that's not good. Uh, destabilizer, this is 170, a little bit of ammo. What does this thing do? Just a ton of damage. It's anti-armor. Spike driver, also decent. Damage per second is 550. Damage per second is 480, plus some EP. And when the ship's flux goes up, it does up to 50% extra damage. That could be insane. Other option, one of these things. I think it just shoots 14 shots. And then you gotta wait 14 seconds or seven seconds to shoot again. I think that's what this does. Um, it's got more ammunition and benefits from ECCM. The other option is throw on an ultra shock beam and just blast. No, 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 you're fine with this gun. Okay. Life is good. All the weapons are giant. Everything is happy. Uh, I did put missiles on these guys. I did. Could I put better missiles on these guys? Maybe. There was... It's not... It's not here. Oh, it's a medium, that's why. Never mind. We have no more combat ships. Correct. Okay, well. Huh. That was a trip through examining your tripod. Uh, who are you? Um, N. Its its name is N. Independent world new matchup two beta cores pros possessed secret negotiations hegemony Persian league in progress to highest bidder auction require cores to freedom. You want me to go? You want me to go and and take two cores from them? Three thousand marines. This could antagonize everybody. Waiting response. You're not gonna second chance at building this connection. Oh man, I can't get 3,000 troops, can I? And hit new mesh in? I mean, I guess I'll take it. Captive cores. Okay. 
Um, <laughs> I definitely do not have the ability to get 3,000 guys. 3,000 troops. Uh, so how am I supposed to do that mission? Is there a timer on it? Oh, it's affiliated with the remnants. Mm, you could hit the secure facility when they're where they're stored, or talk to someone in authority who can help. All right, let's go there and see if we can get a tug. <laughs> let's leave. This is an interesting place. Never been there before, so that was first time for me. Kind of cool. And there's a remnant there, so... Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I should have opened up the gate. What's wrong with me? Oh well. We'll do it some other time. Perhaps in between? I don't know. Lots of fighting going on. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna go to New Meshan. This place is cool looking. And there's a gate. Don't forget the gate this time. These guys should like me. Writers, com relay. Yeah, everyone's neutral and friendly. Nice. There's just a huge army here. Okay. Com. Officers. There's the base commander. Um, yeah, I don't know who these people are. Oh, Arm Armaturas here. Interesting. I didn't even know they had a world. Well. Well. Maybe this music is... Is, uh, oh. A, a Reuter HQ. There's Reuters here, too. Interesting. Alright, well, I need some gas, so... We'll buy that from the Reuters, too. Alright, and I'll buy some, uh... This music is wild. I hope it's not copyrighted. <laughs> that would be bad. There's no one to talk to here. But they gotta have tugs. Come on. This is the Reuters. Yes, there it is. I'll take it. And if I'm going to take this place... I'm going to need a ton of troop transports, right? How much do you hold? 250? I just need, like, okay, I'll take a troop transport. But then I'll need just, like, nebulas, right? Well, bigger than the big version of nebulas, whatever they're called, this thing. Oh, man, they won't give me starliners. So, more troop transports? Arma? Oh, hello. Okay, well, we already know these are amazing. Whoa. This is the one with the backpack. No, I can't. I can't use the Gragas. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's just... <laughs> oh, man. That's so cool, though. That they're there. Um, I need... People transports. For 3,000 troops. Yeah, no. They're not here, okay. Wait a second. I bought some ships. I need to, uh, kit them out. Don't be copyright music. Don't be copyright music. Uh, efficiency overhaul and... Let's do an additional berthing. Okay, we'll do that. Wonderful. And for you, I'll do the same thing. This is the overhaul and birthing. How many people does that give us, right? 250 additional birthing. Gets us 75 additional. Eh, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. 
I could probably take the survey equipment out and put a birthing in here. Same with this one. What do you have? You have cargo holds. Just give you 60. We'll put the birthing in this one too. So that gets us something. Not nearly what I need though. Okay. So... Does anyone have any Marines? No. Security codes? No. Bounty board? No. Military offerings. <laughs> I'd have to kill this massive fleet. Oh, man. So first I'd have to kill this huge fleet, which, I mean... Doable. This is like so many fighters, but definitely doable. Um, the battle station would be a little tough. Defended by an AI core. Okay. And then these guys would hate me. Special functions. Request a fleet. Faction dictionary. No. And there's no one to talk to here. AI cores. No. Executive doesn't want to talk, right? Oh, base commander. You also want AI cores? The port master. You want AI cores? This guy. Reuter Union? Quartermaster. There's two officers here. What can you do? You're timid. And what about you? You're both timid. Get out of here. Alright. So my option is not great. It's to get 3,000 guys and come back here and hit this world and take two beta cores. 3,000 troops. That's gnarly. Um, does the Zahn have what I need? Uh, right, I have to click on it. Only costs 141 gas to get there, too. That's amazing. Alright, Zahn. You guys hate me? <laughs> That's the real question. Do you hate me? Uh, how big is this place? Size 6. This one's got what we need. Alright, so I'm going to check Zahn out. Um, hopefully we don't get to a fight. And I'll see you in the next episode. Let's see. Now nah, they're neutral. They're red neutral, so that's not great. They have assembly. Ask about ship assembly. Oh, hello. Select hulls to build. Can we build deserter hulls? We can. We can build cruisers. Eventually our entire fleet's gonna be these things. Yeah, we'll just have like a ton of cruisers. I don't know what these destroyers do. Crowd particle accelerator. Heavy cargo rig. Five hundred cargo. Mm, salt shuttle? Advanced ground support, hello. Cargo rig. So how do you... It's heavy cargo, it's 500 cargo. Mine runner. Mm, Alright, whatever. And then... A carrier? Let's say this is a carrier, it holds two, two bays. An artillery ship. Oh man. Yeah, we need our own our own ability to build stuff. Oh, we can build the Anhinder. I forgot about this. Uh, he's a strike craft. So does that mean he comes with a set of friends? Phase field, cataphract LSM, low grade EMP generator, medium energy, small missile, medium hybrid. Uh, oh, he just phases. Okay, interesting. Starfed. That's a uh, Dreadnought. Star Federation Dreadnought we can build. 
Uh-huh. What is this? Oh, I remember this ship. That was a good one. Uh, we got some Reuter ships. Can I choose capitals only, please? Here's our capitals. We got a big carrier. Six fighter bays. Okay, we got the Dreadnought. What is this thing? Another Dreadnought. Heavy ballistics integration. 34,000 hull. Oh, wow. Okay, here's a battleship. It's a big one, too. Oh, my. Okay. Leviathan defense battleship. Another one. What is this? A battlecruiser? Boltac? Another Boltac? And another Boltac. Wow. Okay. Well, this is really cool. Salvage yards here, but we can't get in here. Yeah, you're patrolling. Alright, well, that was fun. I'll see you in the next area, folks. Bye.